Okay, we're going to find the, uh, find the mean using a graphing calculator. Uh, this is going to be a follow-up to the previous video of just finding the mean of a frequency distribution. Uh, but this time, what we're going to do is just find it using the graphing calculator, so no, no writing anything out. Uh, so let's start with this one. This was the first example in the previous video. And what we're going to do is set up the table in the calculator by doing the following. Uh, right here, where it says stat, right above it says list, so you're just going to click that, and it says edit, so you click on edit, so press enter, and then you have these columns. In the first column, L1, uh, we're going to put the scores, so we get 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And then you have the second column, which is going to be our L2, and that's going to be for our frequency. So we have 2, 8, 15, 18, 9, and 1. Oops, 9, and then 1. So now we have our table, our frequency distribution that we have from over here is now in the calculator. Now once you're done with that, just go second, quit, go back to the main screen. So here's how we find the mean. In fact, this will actually find the mean, the standard deviation, all those things, but right now we just want the mean. So what we're going to do is go back to list, or stat, scroll over to calc, and then they have this option, one variable stats. Press enter. Now what you're going to do is you're going to list your left column and then your right column. So what you do is find L1. Now down here you can see L1 goes with the number one. You can see that's the yellow, the second function, so you press second, one. You can see that L1 comes up and press comma, L2. That's where your frequency is. So first one will be your scores. Your second column will be your frequency. You press enter. And there you go. It gives you a bunch of information, but the only one we really want is the first one. It has this little X with a bar, which stands for your mean. Uh, so 5.018. Now, if you watched the last video, I rounded it to 5.02. Um, remember that when we added up the frequency, uh, we had n equals 53. We had 53 total scores, so that says that right there. And that's pretty much it. So we verified our first example. Let's go ahead and uh, pull up the second frequency table, and we'll verify our second example. Okay, we have the second example up. Uh, this example we had ticket prices. I went around and asked every, a bunch of people at a concert, you know, what what did you pay for your ticket? And I put it in this nice little organized frequency distribution. And I believe, and I don't, I should, probably should have checked this before, I think our mean is supposed to be 71.57. That's what we should get. So let's see if it works out. All right, so turn on the calculator. Go back to your list or your stat button, and then click Enter. And then what you're going to do is you want to clear out these columns. So instead of going through each one and deleting, uh, what you can do is just go up to the top, highlight L1, and then just press Clear. So clear, Enter, and it should work. So then go over to L2, Clear, Enter. All right. So let's enter in the first column, which was the ticket prices. So 48, 54, 62, 80, 99, and 120. And then the left column, or I'm sorry, the right column, or frequency, we had 15, 27, 88, 1, 50, and 6. All right, so now that you have your left, your ticket prices, your left column, and your frequency is the right column, we'll quit. And then we'll go back to list again. Second column where it says calc, do your one variable stats. Now your left column should be your ticket prices, comma, and then L2, which should be your frequency, press enter. And we got 71.57, which is exactly what we got in the previous video. Again, you can ignore some of this other stuff. Uh, we could talk about that later in different videos. But right now, this is this is all I want to show you in this video is how to find the mean using a graphing calculator.